here we are at Maple Sugar Time. Festival here at the Indiana Dunes National Park. Yep. See the trees are tapped and the sap is flowing. Yep. I smell that wood smoke. Oh, they don't have that little wigwam put together this no. year. Here's a basket though because they didn't have metal or glass or anything hardy like uh, like that. So they would have used uh, bark from trees to make a basket like this. And they would have had a tap that was made out of like a branch. And they would have carved into the tree with a more primitive type of tool like this. And this is going back hundreds of years. So like this is before natives had metal. Um, and they would have stuck it in the tree just like we do it. It allows the sap to run and they would have collected it in those baskets and then um, this is one of the methods they've used. They would have had these troughs like this carved out of a log and then they would have taken those baskets filled with sap, put it in here, and you can see how watery this is. Like it's very viscous. I was really surprised when I first saw it because it was like, oh wow, like it's not the, the sap you see running down the side of the tree sometime like on our silver maples or something. Um, it has a very viscous uh, fluid-like content. Uh, that comes out directly when tapped into the tree. Um, so the, what he's doing is heating up a bunch of rocks and that's what they would have done and they would have put them into the sap in these troughs and it would have made them boil. And they would have got them hot enough to get it boiling and hot and then it would have cooked it down and this is, it takes a long time. Um, so they would have been doing this for quite some time, maybe had more than one person going back and forth moving these stones. But it eventually keeps, it gets it hot enough to boil and the rocks stay hot like for a good amount of time. So you can imagine them using bigger rocks and like how like efficient they could have been with this. Like if they would have really put their minds to it and had like a community working at it. Um, but the sugar to them was valuable. This is something that you can only get here in this part of the world. And they didn't have candy back then. They didn't have sugar cane plantations to get it from. So they would have, and this would have been an amazing sweet thing in their life. Um, so they would have used it as a source of currency. People who were trading in the area, the other natives that were not from this part of even, uh, like North America, they would have uh, been trading for furs or anything that was, they could have uh, needed in their lives. Um, it's something that they could have used for their food. They could have made a little thing like this here. They would make cakes and carve out a branch and they would have put the sap like uh, cooked down product in there and maybe added to something um, and easily to trade. It doesn't go bad. They could have kept it in the winter time and uh, not have to worry about any uh, anything like, you know, syrup breaking from a bottle. Like uh, it was a more simplistic form of it, but like easier to work with. Um, the other version of cooking down would have been in a clay pot, just like the one in my hand here. Um, these are actual, like, direct, like, <laughs> they were made here on site by a Native American uh, pottery craftsman. So uh, this is very similar to what you would have seen them using, but maybe like larger. Um, and they would have added the sap to these and put them directly on a fire like that and cooked so it down. So they no longer use rocks for that, they just use So rocks. yeah, um, I don't think they know for sure exactly how it all transitioned, but I'm assuming that this was the first version. Um, and then they moved to that without putting rocks in it. Just right. It's it's a lot easier. You know, you don't have to go back and forth. Um, so I, I'm in my brain. That's how I imagine they would have figured it out over time. They like had this and then they came across the pottery later on. Um, and I'm not a Native American expert. So I would assume that pottery maybe wasn't around when they first started doing this more uh, easier, more uh, simplistic way of doing it. Um, but uh, who's to say? Who discovered it too? Like who's to say that as well? Like, and they probably used the clay that didn't appear that existed. Right, but there, you know, you can only make pottery out of the right kind of clay. So 
it would have taken the right like deposit for them to be able to produce something like this and like you know you can find clay along the lake shore here but it's sandy mm -hmm. you can't get a finished product like this we used to make little ashtrays and stuff when we were little as kids and let them sit in the sun uh, but they fall apart and crumble really easily mm -hmm. so how did you guys acquire the well, Native Americans passed their traditions down by word of mouth. Uh, there are recollections of uh, people who knew the history that did record it at some point in time. And then people, when European settlers came here for the first time, they were interacting with these Native people on the landscape. They were being introduced to their traditions and seeing how they were doing stuff. Right. Somebody acquired it at some point and it was given to us from them and then we also saw it. So it's a mixture um, of information throughout history, like from different perspectives basically is what gives us our finished product. There's your, your healed up sap holes, what they yeah. look like after they've been tapped. Way back, look at that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's starting right now. Look at Dripping. Not a lot in there, but it's starting. Yep. Starting to warm up. Yeah, yesterday there was none because it was oh, 17 degrees when we first came. Yeah. We were going to try to come out yesterday. We had about just got 500 too cold. people yesterday. So far oh, we have about a thousand. I bet. It's not a lot nicer weather today. Yeah. It was cold oh. yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, this exhibit shows you how they take it from like almost water and make it thicker. Ah. So that's the process. Awesome. Uh, keep dying. <laughs> they're like, they're the same age? Or, or um, the tree's going to take to get 40 gallons. things to happen. Um, it depends on, you know, is the tree in the shade? Is it in the sun? Um, is it a good tree or a bad tree? So it's hard to know how much yeah, you're going to get Yeah, it's all up to nature. Yeah. I would end up Yeah. They just went around and emptied the buckets. Thank you. Ah, okay. Yeah. What's the boil? We got here. What was the boil down rate? 40 to 1? 40 to 1. So you start out with the gas bucket home 40? Yes. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 I don't know if they're going to fit. Are they? Well, I'll put one. Let's put one on the seat. Good save. Because we're going to go across the road. Yeah. You get them. Ooh, I see. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. It got real cold last night. Yeah. Come on, come on in. It's very hot. It froze on us. There's one. Okay. We can do it. Oh, no, sure. Got the strainer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the it's the ice. That's just water, so that's not any of the syrup. So that's kind of good. Yeah. In theory, we could get that ice out of there because the ice is just pure water. Right. Get that out of there. Right. So put it in the liquid. Right. Yeah. Put it in the liquid. I don't want to do that. This is pre sap for me. It's amazing. Does it take a long time to get the sap? It, it seems like a couple of those. The stuff is like running pretty fast. The ideal condition. Yeah, I'm going to show you. So we're pouring the sap in at this end. That's the ideal condition. And it's just pushing its way through, kind of like a serpent. Oh, He's going to pour some in right now. It's too hot, yeah. And it's going in and out. And then the, the final product will be down here when we're finished. 
Shelburg uh, brand maple syrup. It will be available until the summer. Okay. It's the first year that we have bottled and made available to the public what they make in the sugar shack. Oh. So this summer it's available for donation over at the friend's house, which is on the corner all the way up there. Um, and then this is our maple cream machine. Do you know about maple cream? Okay, so you already know. We made it this morning. Um, we've been at it kind of all day. It's still whipping air into it right now. But yeah, it looks really delicious. It smells delicious. <laughs> yeah, what so do you do with it? Snow bath. You can you can do a lot of things with it. You okay. can spoonful in your coffee. You can spread it on pancakes and waffles. Okay. You can it eat goes about on itself. and dip apples <laughs> in it. Eat it by the spoonful. I don't care what really? you do with okay. it. It's okay. delicious though. So it's, it's a like consistency of caramel kind of? A little bit. It's yeah. more this isn't quite done. It's it's lighter and fluffier. It is, okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of like almost like peanut butter but not so oh. um not so like sticky and yeah. like gummy. Okay. I don't know, you know, peanut butter. Right. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how many? One. One? Yeah. Maple sugar snow cone. That's what they used to have back Yum. in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Before the rainbow snow cones came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you. Help yourself to any literature. There's a calendar there. I think there's one left. Hi, how many? Five. Mm -hmm. It's a small one. Oh, it's muddy, muddy. Yeah, that's why I made sure to wear my, my, my hiking boots today. Maple syrup snow cone. Oh, that's good. You want a bite? Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Tasty. Maple syrup in there. That's some really good maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I'll stick down my pocket so I don't lose it. I got stilts. Oh, nice. I don't think you can get that far. Oh, no one has one. We'll get one of the 
Yeah. It's a ring toss game. Yeah. Still. Okay, come on over here. Somebody's in there feeding them. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bard Rocks and Rhode Island Ridge.